boys and girls and my dear teachers i am sheikh mahub basha welcome to my channel happy learning today's topic is snell's law light can travel through vacuum speed of light in vacuum is 3 to 10 to the power of 8 meter per second speed of light changes when the medium is changed light has different speeds in different media optical density of a medium is a relative property a medium may be denser with respect to any one medium the same medium may be a rarer medium with respect to some other medium when we compare the speed of light in different media the medium in which the speed of light is less is called a denser medium and the medium in which the speed of light is more is called a rarer medium the direction of light changes when medium changes this property of light is called refraction this is second medium this one is first medium this is an incident ray a normal is drawn at the interface of incident point normal the angle between incident ray and normal is angle of incidence represented by i this is the refracted ray the angle between normal and refracted ray is called angle of refraction represented by the symbol r the ratio of sine of the angle of incidence i to the sine of the angle of refraction r is a constant this ratio is called the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium it is represented by the letter n n of 2 with respect to 1 is equal to sin i by sin r it has no units when the first medium is air then refractive index of the second medium with respect to air is called as absolute refractive index of that second medium and is represented by the letter n2 n2 is equal to sin i by sin r this is denser medium of absolute refractive index n2 and this one is rarer medium of absolute refractive index n1 incident ray normal angle of incidence i refracted ray angle of refraction let a light ray travels from a rarer medium of absolute refractive index n1 into a denser medium of absolute refractive index n2 then this snell's law may be stated as n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r this equation is the most generalized form of snell's law what we have learned point 1 direction of light changes when medium is changed the angle between the incident ray and the normal is called angle of incidence and is represented by the letter i and the angle between the refracted ray and the normal is called the angle of refraction and is represented by the letter r number 3 the ratio of sin i to the sin r is a constant it is called refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium point 4 when light ray passes from air to any medium the ratio of sin i to the sin r is called absolute refractive index of the second medium point 5 snell's law is written as n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r if you like the video please give a thumb up for more videos subscribe my channel happy learning and don't forget to press the bell icon